Welcome to section 5, the last section of this course about graph algorithm. I'm now going to give an overview of the link prediction techniques. Especially in this video, we will learn about the link prediction algorithm implemented in Neo4j. The idea is quite simple. Given a graph with some known nodes and relationship, can we predict other link between nodes? It's important in mainly two cases. For future link prediction, for instance, if you know person A and person A knows person B, it's likely you will be introduced to person B in the future. This kind of technique can be used for friendship recommendation by Facebook or by Tinder for match recommendation. The second use case for link prediction is for filling incomplete data. For instance, in the case of criminal organization for which, by definition, we have only a subpart of information, there are a few techniques to assess not similarity and hence suggest a new relationship. For instance, nodes belonging to the same community are more likely to be connected now or in the future. That's why on this graph, the existence of a relationship between B and C who belong to the same community is more likely than a relationship between B and D because D is not inside the B community. Another feature that can be used to quantify the likelihood of two nodes being connected is the shortest distance between them. The closer they are in the graph, the more likely they can be connected. To use again example with Facebook friends, you can be introduced to a friend of a friend, but it's less likely to be introduced in the near future to a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. You get the point. On the simple graph here, the link between B and C is more probable since the, the unweighted shortest distance between them is only 2 hopes, while the shortest distance between G and F is 3 hopes, so they are less likely to be connected. Of course, the similarity metrics we discussed at the end of section 4 can also be good indicators of whether nodes can be connected. There are other techniques more dedicated to the link prediction problem. A lot of them are neighbors based, meaning they compare the size of the neighbors of two nodes, U and V. The common neighbors approach translates the fact that two nodes, U and V, are more likely to be connected if they already have common neighbors. For instance, B and C have a common neighbor A so they are more likely to be connected than F and A that do not have any direct common neighbor. Another method is to use the intuitive notion that rare features are more telling. In the case where two nodes U and V are connected to a single neighbor X, if X is only connecting U and V, they have a strong relationship. On the contrary, if X is connected to many other nodes, U and V are more loosely coupled. Another example is the number of neighbors of each node. Since we can assume that a node with already a high number of connections is more social and hence is more likely to accept new connections. There are other variants of these neighbors-based approaches. But let's see one example using the Karate Club dataset. We are interested in the link prediction between person 25 and 24. If we look at their common neighbors, we can find they have two common friends, person 26 and 28. Let's run the common neighbors algorithm for these nodes. First, we need to select those two nodes, 24 and 25. And then we can directly call the link prediction function.
So you can see that we find again that the common neighbor's core for those two nodes is two. As you maybe noticed, the link prediction algorithm are implemented as function, as opposed to procedures for most of the other algorithm we described in this course. In practice, that means you can only get the link prediction for one pair of nodes and not directly for all pairs in the graph. For our small graph, we can still find the person most likely to be connected. Let's write the query together. First, let's select our two person. To avoid computing the similarity between P1 and P2, and also the similarity between P2 and P1, which will obviously be the same, we will just filter some combination. We are also excluding the cases where there is already a connection between P1 and P2. Then, for each of the remaining pairs, we can call the link prediction algorithm. And as usual, let's return an ordered list of results. So this algorithm says that the person most likely to be connected are person IDs 3 and 34 with a score of 6, meaning they already have six common neighbors. Last algorithm we will talk about in this video is the same community algorithm, returning one if two nodes are in the same community and zero otherwise. It requires a community property to exist for each node, meaning that a community detection algorithm has to be run and its results written back in the graph. Let's use for this the Louvain method. So we will compute the Louvain score for all nodes in the graph and write the result into a property which is called Louvre. Once this is done, we can use the same community function of the link prediction, like this. So we want to predict whether P1 and P2 will be in the same community. So with the nodes 3 and 34, it returns 0, meaning they are not in the Louvain community. That's mainly an helper function to extract features. That's all for this video about link prediction algorithm.